hello and welcome to my home for the day in the great outdoors. I'm with the Southwest Florida Water Management District and I'm hoping you'll join me today as I explore some of the amazing freshwater habitats found in West Central Florida. A habitat just like your home, is a specific place where living organisms find the things they need to survive, such as food, shelter, water, and space. Habitats are part of a larger ecosystem. An ecosystem is a living community full of plants and animals and their interactions with the environment around them. Whereas a habitat is more like your individual home, think of an ecosystem as the city or town where you live. Not all living things or organisms can survive in the same habitats and ecosystems. Factors that determine where an organism lives include sunlight, temperature, food supply, and weather. For example, it's very unlikely you would find a penguin living in Florida or a palm tree growing in Alaska. Although some species may be able to adapt to different living conditions over time or have the ability to migrate, most species depend on a stable environment in order to survive. Florida is such a great place to live and visit because it's home to such a wide variety of plants and animals. This is also referred to as biological diversity or biodiversity. What do you say we pack up here and go explore some of the freshwater habitats found in Florida? Let's go! Looks like we've landed at the Hillsboro River. This 54 mile river has many different habitats as it meanders through urban and rural landscapes. A river is a fresh water body that is formed from excess rainwater that runs off of the land. Rivers may also receive freshwater inputs from groundwater or smaller tributaries. Some of the species that call the Hillsboro River home include alligators, wood storks, bobcats, and turtles. Let's move on to our next location, the Green Swamp. The Green Swamp is the headwater to the Hillsborough River and an example of a wetland. Wetlands are lands that are wet all or part of the year and can be either freshwater or saltwater habitats. Wetlands are important because they provide a number of beneficial ecosystem services. This includes their ability to filter or help to clean out pollutants in water, to act as nurseries during the breeding season, store excess water from rain events to help reduce flooding, and provide the necessary habitat for a multitude of different species. One indicator that the green swamp is a wetland is the cypress trees that grow here. Other animals that call this home include the endangered Florida black bear, tortoises, deer, and owls. What do you say we check out a freshwater spring next? On to Purity Springs. Purity Springs is one example of the many springs found in Florida. A spring is created when groundwater flows up to the surface, providing clear, pristine water that so many aquatic and terrestrial life depend on. One of the most popular animals that relies on our springs are manatees. When temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico drop below 68 degrees, manatees find the thermal refuge they need to survive in our warmer spring water. People from all over the world travel just to get a glimpse of our springs here in Florida. Well, although I'd love to stay here all day, what do you say we check out one last location? Let's go! Here we are at Tampa Bay, Florida's largest open water estuary. Estuaries are water bodies along the coast that are formed when fresh water from rivers and streams flows into and mixes with salt water from the ocean. Estuaries are one of the most productive habitats on Earth. An important factor to the health of an estuary is the amount of fresh water that flows into it, as this determines the salinity or how much salt is in the water. Variations in salinity can impact plants and animals that are sensitive to change. Tampa Bay provides the habitat to many young fish, crab, and shrimp, as well as a variety of plant species, such as seagrass. 
As much as I would love to keep adventuring with you today, I think this is the perfect location to end our journey. By the way, did you happen to notice that each of the water habitats we went to today is connected? The green swamp was the headwater to the Hillsborough River, which may receive a portion of its water from Purity Springs. The river then empties out here into Tampa Bay. That's why it's so important for us to protect all of our water resources and the land that surrounds them, as what happens in one waterway can impact another. Now it's time for you to conduct your own research and see what might impact our water bodies, what we can do to help protect them, and what other freshwater habitats might be near you. Thanks for joining me.